$120,000 a month? Uh, somebody sent a link, put a bunch of links in, in the comments section and over at the GoFundMe page. And, um, and I've been, I printed out a good amount of this stuff. I can't read articles online, it just messes up my eyes. The flicker rate from the screen or something, I don't know. Just get a headache. <laughs> I'm better at reading printed material. Um, but I'm reading through this thing, just glancing through it, and I came across this statistic here, um, page 12 of the part 1B, if you print it out anyways, I don't know how you'd say it, or how it would be if you're just looking at it on the website, but it says here, with the authority he has given himself, Stephen Anderson is the sole authority in Faithful Word Baptist Church, and the only person authorized to make any and all decisions regarding Faithful Word Baptist Church. This includes how much the pastor is to be paid, how the funds coming into the church, approximately $120,000 per month, will be dispersed with what charitable works, if any, Faith Word Baptist Church will engage in, what hymnals to use, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'll just show you the article here, the printed article. Right there you have it. Okay? And it, it's a footnote there, number 68. So you go back here to part 1C, back to the end of that, where the uh, footnotes are, and uh, to see what the source is for this. And there you have it. It's uh, basically a telephone interview that he did with Tyler Baker, who was involved with that whole thing for a while. Now, I don't know if it's true, I don't know, of course, Anderson zombies are going to say, well, Tyler Baker's unfaithful, blah, 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 the whole deal. But uh, I'd like somebody to, to just confirm that. Um, again, you know, there's some decent stuff in here that I would agree with, but I'm not going to recommend this because they're um, <clears throat> friendly towards James White. They're not King James Bible believing. They are uh, Calvinistic from what I can see, so, eh, you know, whatever. It's about all I'm going to do with that article. But... Uh, $120,000 a month. Uh, this whole hyper soul winning scam thing. Could you get my book on the Jack Hiles soul winning thing over there, please? Um, this whole hyper soul winning thing is just so disgusting. Thank you. You're um, You know, right there, this whole let's go soul winning thing. Get the other one over there, too, that we have. Um, there's so many books and articles we need to go through. People send us stuff all the time. We love it. But uh, my word, we're so snowed, snowed under right now. Here's the Hiles Church Manual, you know, it should be called the uh, Hiles Business Manual, you know, the Jack Hiles Business Model, how to make lots of money. Um, Steven Anderson was a fire alarm inspector. Um, I don't think that you can make $120,000 a month from doing that. But boy, if you uh, get in there and, and use the uh, Hiles Method, Boy, you can start making some good money. And some of you, some of the some of the devils that attack this ministry, try to compare me to Stephen Anderson. It would take me years to even make $120,000, much less a month. I mean, my word, you people out there. But how does that make you feel? And, you know, you look it up, there might be, what, maybe 100 men? We'll just say 100 men or whatever else uh, that would be tithing and things at Anderson's cult out there. That would mean $1,200 a month to reach that $120,000 a month that they're bringing in there at Faith Forward, you know, Catholic cult. And I realize he has his online donations as well through PayPal and whatever else, but $120,000 a month uh, through covetousness shall they with fain words make merchandise of you, the Bible says. Um, just disgusting. So I just thought I'd share that. Um, you know, I don't doubt it. I mean, I, I really don't doubt it. It's shocking to read it, but honestly, I don't, I don't doubt it. I, you know, I could see him making that kind of money. Uh, it's just, it's, it sickens me, uh, when you get into, you know, what true Christianity is all about and Christians don't make a lot of money. I mean, my word, <laughs> you know, especially when you're in ministry, I can attest to that. It's, it's, you know, it's about laying treasures up in heaven. 
Um, and again, I get accused of, you know, this is all about money. Good night, man. Why would I leave a professional art career where I was making four or $500 per bowl and come into this and be attacked all the time, you know, and, and drive old vehicles that break down a lot. I got to work on them and things and old junky place here and whatever else. <laughs> oh, my word. But I'm not legitimate. But the guys out there that monetize their channels, uh, like Robert Breaker and Gene Kim and some of these other guys, they're legitimate, they're real, and they have church, well, Gene Kim has a church building, and, uh, you know, Anderson's got a church building, so they're legitimate, they're the real deal. No church buildings in the New Testament, but, you know, whatever. Just disgusting. Absolutely disgusting to see this. And it's not, it's not, uh, of course, I'm going to get it put on me, oh, you're jealous. Yes, I'm jealous. I wish I was making a million dollars a year. Yeah, sure, right. Um, that isn't it. It's the thing that angers me is that people fall for these false prophets. These false prophets that are just making merchandise off of them. But whatever. You know, whatever. Just keep believing the lies. You know, just, just send them your money. You know, watch Breaker's videos and Gene Kim's videos and, and click subscribe. Click the like button so they get that monetization coming in. You know, just, just keep feeding these guys money. Just keep giving them money and money and money and money. They're making merchandise of you. Oh, brother. I hope you people wake up. I really do.